was a little genius. <laughs> and uh, as Benjamin Franklin said, genius without education is like silver in a mine. Today you are here to celebrate your education. The silver is out there. All you need to do is go out and mine it. But I leave you with one little observation. Uh, I actually got started in this business of communicating science, believe it or not, through magic. Because when I was in grade six, I was invited to a birthday party and there was a magician. And he wasn't very good. Most of the tricks he did were eminently forgettable. Uh, and I had long forgotten them. But there was one that was kind of inspiring. It made a difference in my life. He showed us a rope trick. He took a rope, flexible rope, like this, and he uh, hypnotized it, just like this. And he made it defy gravity. And he said he did that with a magic chemical. I knew he didn't do that with a magic chemical, and I knew that if a scientist tried to do that, this is what would happen. But it intrigued me, and I went to the school library, and I took out a book on chemistry, and I took out a book on magic, and I followed both of those ever since. And you might think that this is a bizarre thing, because chemistry is a hard science rooted in laws of nature. Magic is the opposite. Magicians do things that appear to be beyond the scope of nature. But I found out that magic, of course, was a scientific endeavor and that there were very good explanations, scientific ones, for how you could take a flexible rope and hypnotize it. Hopefully you will never find out what that science is, but there is certainly science uh, behind it and a great deal of engineering. So that's what got me started. You never know what is going to spark one's interest, but because you guys are engineers, I will leave you with one last little problem to solve. I have this strange little gimmick here, which has straight edges and hinges. And the problem is how many geometric shapes you can make out of this. Well, obviously you can make a square, you can make a parallelogram, you can make a triangle. In fact, you can make two triangles. You can make a pentagon. Can you make a circle? Well, no, I'm sure you guys, their engineering knowledge, how can you make a circle? You have straight edges and you have hinges. It's impossible. However, one thing we learn in science is not to say impossible too quickly. Because sometimes you have to think outside of the box and think in a different dimension and realize that you can take a square and make a circle out of it. So, take Take the squares that you have been given here in your education, go out and make a circle out of them. Thank you.